ChatGPT for a full research paper from scratch. Is it really possible? To what extent it is detectable by uh, plagiarism software? This is what we are going to see in this tutorial, so stay tuned till the end of the video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to come up with a research paper from scratch just to have some prompt uh, and we ask ChatGPT to come up with different sections of the research paper, etc. So the first uh, prompt that we can ask ChatGPT is to suggest uh, research uh, topics on any field that you are interested in. Let's say on uh, education and uh, artificial intelligence. So here are some suggestions like the impact of artificial intelligence on personalized learning, case study of educational platforms, exploring the use of chatbots in online education, a comparative analysis of student perceptions, the ethical implications of AI in education, the role of artificial intelligence improving student engagement, uh, developing AI driven educational games, etc. So let's pick one topic and then we can uh, build a research proposal based thereon. So let's take this uh, study or this topic, the impact of artificial intelligence on personalized learning, case study of educational uh, platforms. So I'm just going to copy it and we can uh, put this prompt, uh, design a full research proposal for uh, a thesis, for instance, on the following topic, and between quotation marks, and enter. So here is the title, the impact of artificial intelligence, the abstract, the introduction, then we have the aim of the study within the introduction, the research questions, the methodology section, then we have the data collection procedures and look at the future tense data analysis procedures, even expected outcomes because this is just a research proposal, conclusion, and that's it. So we lack references and we lack the outline. So we can just take this, for instance, and uh, try to get inspired by it, take it, like, let's say, as a product approach in, in terms of writing. So because if we take it as it is, we may not know what to, uh, to, to do with it or to what extent it can be detectable by uh, AI detection tools. So I'm just going to copy it here. Like when you copy it and paste it, it appears in black. So you can just uh, copy it this way. So we have how many words? We have 614 words minus the six words. So it's almost uh, 608 words or something like this. So uh, this is like a, a proposal. So let's just delve into the proposal, like abstract, this study aims. So the abstract is just a summary of the study. Normally it's the last part that we write, but here it's written at the beginning. The study aims to investigate the impact of artificial intelligence on personalized learning through case study of educational platforms. The research will explore how AI powered platforms can enhance personalized learning experiences and improve student outcomes. This is like the objective of the study. The study will use mixed methods approach. This is the methodology collect and analyze data, including surveys, interviews, and learning analytics, and then the expected results. The findings will contribute to a better understanding of the potential of AI in personalized learning and inform the design of effective educational technologies. So these are like the implications or the contributions of the study. And we have this introduction. Personalized learning has become a popular approach to teaching and learning with a focus on tailoring instruction to individual students' needs, interests, and learning styles. However, so this is like a background, and there is this dichotomy here. However, implementing personalized learning can be challenging for teachers as it requires them to provide individual, individualized support to teach students. Artificial intelligence has the potential to address this challenge by providing personalized recommendations, feedback, support to students. AI-powered educational platforms can collect data on students' learning behavior and use machine learning algorithms to provide personalized recommendations and support. And this is the introduction as a background. 
information, the importance of the study, etc., and contributions of the study to the research gap and the research field. The aim of the study is to investigate the impact of personalized learning through case study of educational platforms. The research will explore the following research questions. So these are just the research questions and the research aim. How do AI-powered educational platforms enhance personalized learning experiences? So I think this question can be answered using a survey or maybe observations. What are the benefits and challenges of using AI in personalized learning? This seems like a double bird uh, question for me because we can just uh, be specific. We have benefits alone, challenges alone. Like these are like two questions asked in one uh, question. This is limitation. Again, ChatGPT does not recognize that we can put some formalities like RQ1, RQ2, etc. This is another limitation. So these are some, let's say, tricks that can reveal that this is an AI gener generated content, so to speak. And what are the benefits and challenges of using AI in personalized learning? How do students perceive the use of AI in personalized learning? How does it impact their learning outcomes? This study will use a mixed methods approach to collect and analyze data. So mixed methods approach means we have quantitative and qualitative approaches combined together to collect and analyze the data. The study will involve a case study of AI-powered educational platforms. This is not specific because there are a lot of AI-powered educational platforms. We should be more specific. We say, for example, uh, using Coursera or using a course in Coursera or Udix or Udacity, etc. Or Moodle or any uh, university platform like Canvas, etc. So including online learning platforms and intelligent tutoring systems, this is still very broad. The case study, again, is describing this as a case study, but uh, there is no case in point, no specific case. Still, it is abroad. will involve a sample of 100 students and their teachers from local high school. The study will be conducted over a period of 12 weeks, uh, during which students will use the AI-powered the AI educational platforms to support their learning. This seems to be a like an intervention study, a quasi experimental study, uh, etc. So, to what extent can be done by the researcher, we don't know. So, data will be collected through surveys, interviews, and learning analytics. This is very much demanding. Surveys will be administered at the beginning and end of the study to measure students' perceptions of the AI powered educational platforms and their impact on their learning. This section is called data and uh, collection procedures. Uh, interviews will be conducted with subset of students and teachers to gather more in their insights into their experiences with the AI powered educational uh, platforms. Learning analytics data such as student performance and engagement will be collected from the AI powered educational platforms. Here, still, it doesn't specify which AI powered educational platform that will be used or platforms in plural. Data analysis will involve both qualitative and quantitative methods, qualitative data from interviews and open ended survey questions will be analyzed using thematic analysis. This is good. Mostly thematic analysis is used most often, but we don't have references like Saldania or other uh, Chris Wall and Chris Wall 2017, etc. So there are no references here and citations. This is another limitation of uh, ChatGPT generated content. Quantitative data from surveys and learning analytics will be analyzed using descriptive and inferential statistics. This is good. Uh, we we'll use both descriptive and inferential statistics, but not every time every time because they require some knowledge on the part of the researchers. Expected outcomes, the findings of the study are expected to contribute to a better understanding of the potential of AI in personalized learning. The study will provide insights into the benefits and challenges of using AI in personalized learning. And then we have conclusion. The study aims to investigate the impact, better understanding, approach to collect, analyze data, and the contributions of the study in the research and the field. So it seems to be good, but there are uh, no, let's say, references, no citations whatsoever. Although we can have references and citations, they may be fake. So this is one, uh, or there are, these are like various limitations to chat GPT generated content, but it can help you, let's say, as a product that you can imitate. Uh, because that's not your work. So basically, you just get inspired by it and come up with something that is uh, more personalized. Uh, so another prompt that we can uh, do uh, or we can ask ChatGPT to do is... Uh,